The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. <laughs> From Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. By the way, I'm, I'm having the crew post the video that I just remembered on air that I saw this weekend or early or late last week of the racist black people, six of them at least, uh, with their black girlfriends making fun of two trendy white liberal hippies that they beat up and stomp on their heads and mercilessly attack and then rob. And this has been out since last Thursday and literally happened at 7th and 6th on I-35. We've now looked on Google Maps 140 feet from the front door of the police station. There are police cars just lined up and parked there, police everywhere, and they beat them. And it goes on and on and on with everyone celebrating. And that's why I won't go down to 6th Street anymore is because groups of racist black people, we should go stake it out actually in our cars and videotape it, rob and attack people every night. And the media will not cover it. Imagine if the Ku Klux Klan was down in um, downtown Austin in the music district by the police station waiting to waylay and rob uh, black people. You would have Jesse Jackson out there, but because it is the devil cracker 
it's okay. And I personally have had enough of it. And John Bounds, uh, brother, plays in bands. He was telling me he won't go down to 6th Street anymore and was telling the story of what happened to him last year. Uh, John Bound, uh, tell folks, uh, now, now imagine in his case more than a dozen people coming to gang up and beat him up for no reason. Uh, uh, this is the opposite of being honorable. This is so cowardly. This is so pathetic. And it will not be decried because the knockout game... No one, no one can even admit uh, that 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 this is a racist attack going on nationwide. Now, Al Sharpton, finally, because so many videos came out of them beating up not just whites but other uh, groups that are not black, and, and, and he said it's disgusting and should stop. But Austin, Texas, has the knockout game going on where they beat and stomp and attack innocent people and then celebrate it and then rob them and take their wallets. So this is the type of garbage uh, that is going on everywhere. Uh, John Baum, before I get into other news and give out the phone number, uh, tell folks uh, your experiences uh, downtown. Well, I don't, I don't go down to 6th Street very much, but my little brother's in a band called Pacifier, and they were, they're a national band. They were downtown playing, and they got done around 2. <clears throat> and, uh, and once they were done, uh, I was walking back to my car, and there's a bunch of thugs just like that standing on the wall calling me all kinds of uh, racist names. Right at that same spot? Uh, at, well, down towards 6th Street a little bit more, actually a little bit closer. to the Tell folks what you told me they said to you. Uh, honky, cracker, white boy, don't you want to get your butt kicked, you know, stuff like that. Just, just trying, to, trying to rile me up. Don't they know it could go like the New York subway where the 10 thugs tried to rob the white guy for the upteenth time and got shot? I mean, don't they understand that, that this is Texas? I, mean, I know folks are moving in here from New York and California and stuff, but I, I, mean, if, I mean, if I'm in my car and somebody tries that, I mean, I'm going to pull out a 308 Reaper. I mean, it's, it's not going to go well. Yeah, they're going to pick the wrong person. Uh, and, and the thing is, you're, you're within your legal right. Once they come up and try to rabbit punch you in the back of the head... It's on. You can protect yourself. So when, when they come and do that to the wrong person, it's, uh, it's uh, clobbering time. Well, it's really amazing. You know, you and McBreen already had like eight guys get in a fight with you and McBreen beat a bunch of them up. We haven't even told that story until now. <laughs> Maybe we should get uh, McBreen in here. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it's just a bunch of thugs wanting to start fights down there. And I got to say, it's almost exclusively... Black thugs trying to attack white people. By the police station. By the police station. Yeah, right next to the police station. And the police are apparently allowing this to happen. But we'll see if any of those guys get arrested. Who knows? It looks like hey, a few more. Hey, Bound, days. since this happened to you, I want you to go down there with a camera and show the spot where it happened and do a report for the nightly news tonight, showing some excerpts and giving credit to the folks that shot that video. It looks like the folks that shot the video might have, might have been fans of it. I'm not sure we need to ascertain that. There's a lot of celebrating going on uh, during this racial attack and robbery. And, and again, you would think that this would be all over local news, but uh, I checked as of this uh, morning and did not see it. Maybe I've missed it. But, but again, you're not supposed to talk about these racial attacks, just like you're not supposed to talk about Obamacare doubling the average premium or how it was written by foreign insurance companies uh, because, you know, Obama is our Lord and Savior, is... Uh, as Jamie Foxx said, and Mancow talked about how since uh, the movie Django Unchained came out, now everywhere he goes in Chicago, black people say, we're going to kill you, white cracker. Uh, and then they'll say, Django, Django, Django. So great work, Quentin Tarantino, uh, creating racial division. And literally, uh, you've got all these self-loving, trendy whites that literally hate themselves and hate the white race. Uh, now being beaten and attacked and laying on the ground begging their, you know, their, their, their king. And I think that's good. I don't think just beating whites is enough. Whites are inherently evil. I think all whites should be put in concentration camps and their heads beat in by bat blacks with ball-peen hammers. I think that's what Martin Luther King would want. What do you think, John Baum? Well, I, I just like to express something that comes to my mind all the time is the fact that I grew up in the 70s and I grew up in uh, Washington, D.C., partly, and... Black people, white people, we didn't know color. All we knew was personality. And now we've reached, and it seems as if we've overcome that, and we got beyond the segregated schooling and the busing and all that, and we try to overcome that as a society, as a culture. Shut up, cracker. Nah. <laughs> but Shut up. You, you know, know you're racist, and I'm going to knock your teeth out. Okay. 
Well, I am from Kentucky, so I don't have a whole lot of teeth. No, 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 no. Oh, folks. come on. I like no. folks from Kentucky. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I tell you, uh, no, no. It, it, listen, Emma, listen, the Democratic Party is the party of the Ku Klux Klan. And when they couldn't win that demographically, they shifted to race baiting. And they literally teach that all whites are racist, all Republicans are racist, adopting a black baby's racist. Uh, that I mean, that's what they do. That That's their job. And they're doing great. I predicted that, that all this race baiting would start racial attacks five years ago, and now it's happening everywhere, John Bound. Yeah, it's disgusting. Now, I know you're in there. It's your day of the week or whatever as we rotate folks through to run the TV board. But why don't you punch out, go get on your suit, yeah. and I want you to go get uh, uh, maybe take trolls with you, yeah. uh, take Glenn with you, and I want you to go down there and uh, to the corner of 6 and 35, and let's just say you're going to be there at 1 o'clock Anybody who's been racially attacked who wants to meet and be interviewed, I don't care if you're black or white, though we know it's going to all be whites, because that is the devil, the blue-eyed devil that deserves it, thank God. Uh, but uh, we, we need everybody to go down there to 6th and uh, 35 or 7th and 35, right in front of the police station. I guess that's technically 7th and 35. This happened on 6th and 35. And you'll see John Bowen his camera. He'll do a stand-up report, tell his experience, show some clips of that. It'll be on the nightly news tonight and on the show tomorrow. And uh, we will, we will uh, then, if anybody wants to be a witness uh, to what's happened to them or others, uh, that gives you an hour and 19 minutes, folks, out on your lunch hour to go down and be quickly interviewed on or off camera uh, by, by uh, John Bowne. Now, I know because you're white and more attacked, you may be ashamed of the fact you're white and may not want to be on camera due no, to your... I'm, I'm very amazing. No, 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 but I'm talking, I'm, about the, I'm talking about the other white victims. The other cracker asses. Uh, we need we need the, you know those that this has happened to 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 go down there in solidarity and come out of the closet for being white and apologize. You know, apologize. In fact, I, th I think they should arrest the two white hippies that got beat up and stomped and robbed because when the when the guy's fist and feet hit them, that was a cracker assaulting a god. Do you understand that? Oh, absolutely. I th I think the folks that beat up the white fellas should wear shirts that say racist on them and that way we can stomp out racism but racism only comes in the form of the cracker or honky maybe we could have the band honky meet us down there as well uh at the police station uh, any members of the band honky local austin band honky if there you know. go with all your band stuff okay thank you john bound absolutely get suited up yeah, let's have uh, cj or one of the other great guys come in and take over the board here and let's send you down there to do a report, a serious report, on, uh, John, on the phenomenon of it being covered up nationwide. That's the issue. Why would the press not cover something like this? All right, uh, we got Jesse Ventura coming up, but I want to get your take on the Super Bowl and the, and the TSA and the gunships and the, and the checkpoints and the drug dogs and the snipers and uh, just the whole disgusting situation, 800-259-9231. Maybe we should do a whole show on how they're banning backyard parties nationwide, even for children. Do you have a permit for that pony? Well, yes, we do. Uh, you know, the kids are riding on it. I mean, just keeping us in line. 800-259-9231. Here's a smattering of some of the other news up on Infowars.com. Super Bowl Sunday showed us there is no Al-Qaeda threat, other than the one our government's funding. The government protecting us from it's the ones that run it. Super Bowl uh, hijack proves government cannot protect you. Excellent article. Get that Super Bowl clip ready of the guy taking over. By the way, it turns out he is a former We Are Changer. So we're going to try to get in touch with him. In fact, before I give the numbers out, I just gave the numbers out. I meant to give the number out for, I guarantee you, in fact, we've already ascertained it on his on his, on his own uh, Facebook. The guy that took over the Super Bowl MVP uh, press conference with 9-11's an inside job investigated and the government covered it up, which is bare minimum, they covered it up. Uh, he is a listener. So uh, we need to, we need to, after we take this board of calls, no more calls except for him getting in. And maybe he can be on with us with Ventura. Or send us your, your phone number right now, sir, at showtips at infowars.com. I know David Knight's calling him right now. But that's somebody that can pop in even during Ventura uh, or in the third hour. That article's up on infowars.com. Super. Bowl hijacking proves government cannot protect you. Man penetrates multi-million dollar security ring with uh, excuses and fake pass. The much vaunted multi-million dollar security ring 
What would you do if somebody had a bomb or a gun? It's, it's, I mean, a security checkpoint is the place to attack, folks. That's what they do in Fallujah. The much vaunted million dollar security ring in place at taxpayer expense for this year's Super Bowl was easily penetrated by a man.